One of the most important things that members of a leadership team have to do is understand which team that they're a member of is their top priority. And in my model on organizational health, this falls squarely within the first discipline, which is building a cohesive team. So if you were to ask any leader in an organization which team was their top priority, the team that they're a member of that runs the organization, or the team that they lead their department, many of them will admit because this is very natural and understandable, they'll admit that their top priority is actually the team that they lead, not the one that they're a member of. It kind of looks like this. If this, is the, if this is the leadership team, and each member of this team has their own department that they run, it is very natural for this person here to put this team at a higher priority than the, than the leadership team or the executive team. And as natural and understandable as that is, it's very dangerous in an organization. Because when this happens, when every member of this team is prioritizing the team they lead over the team they're a member of, the executive team then becomes like the United Nations or Congress, where everybody is getting together to lobby for their constituents, rather than to come together to make decisions that are for the good of the whole organization. Now, when I, when I confront leaders about this, one of their first objections is, well, how is that going to make these people feel when they find out that they are no longer my top priority? Now, here's the funny thing about that. Do you know who wants this to be the number one team more than anybody? It's the people that work in this department and this department and this department and every other department that reports into these leaders. Because when this team is not working together, when these people have not made this group their top priority, these people are left to fight bloody and unwinnable battles with one another. Because if these people haven't resolved their differences and left their meetings with clear marching orders for their departments, they cannot possibly succeed. So really, why do these people make this their top priority? Because you know something? They spend more time with these people usually. They've hired those people. They like being the leader of that team. This might be their functional area of expertise. But they have to overcome that and realize that until they can come into this room, leave their departments behind, and become executives for this company and this team, they will never create a healthy organization.